So the KSI and Rice Gun beef has been going on for a little while now. I'm pretty shocked, actually, that at the moment, we've seen no diss tracks from either of them. All we have are videos going back and forth, no diss tracks in sight. So since there's no diss track at the moment, I thought it'd be fun to go through these videos point by point and see who currently is winning this beef. It's just something a bit more lighthearted, a bit more fun, and as someone who has bad history with Rice Gum and with KSI, who better to judge? Judge this because I won't be favoring either one. I'll just be giving points based on the facts and what has been said. I will judge based on points after both sides have given their argument. So we will hear Rice Gum's video and his arguments first, then we'll listen to KSI's counter arguments and give points based on that. So no more time wasting. Let's start with Rice Gum's video on KSI. So the first point that Rice Gum brings up, and one of the most important ones, is that he says KSI never paid him for their track Earthquake. And you got paid. You got paid for the track. I think you're still getting paid for the track. You never said, nah, it's cool. I paid you. You never said in the future, just give me ah! I didn't make a cent off that song. Oh, what is that laugh? God, Rice, please don't make this harder than it is to stop that right now. So Rice Gum said that he wanted to be a good friend and told KSI to keep all the money from the song. But if that wasn't enough, he then goes on to show emails to prove that he was actually telling the truth and that KSI was in fact lying. KSI said, yo, you need to reply to this boss. Look at this email screenshot. Lewis Rebecca. Keep that in mind. I'm switching cameras. All right, I'm on my email. I'm typing in Rebecca, right? That he said, click on Rebecca. KSI Future Race Cup Earthquake. Here we go. Um, I'm writing to clear your performance to KSI track. He told me to like email this person back and sign something. Would you be happy to move forward on the gracious swap basis? Uh, which basically means I would be given the option for KSI to record a feature on one of my tracks. Similar duration as Earthquake or whatever. So yeah. How could you sit here and lie? I haven't made a cent off you. Ah! Oh, Rice, please. Shut up with that fake laugh. It isn't cool. It's not going to catch on. It's not going to be a thing. Just save all our eardrums, please. So Rice Gum shows actual receipts and proof. I am very interested now to see how KSI responds to this because from where I'm sitting right now, right here, before hearing KSI's counter arguments, it does seem that KSI outright lied about Rice Gum getting paid for this track. And you know what? I never thought I'd say this, but fair play to Rice Gum for backing up his points with proof. Rice is next point is that because KSI thought he was rooting for Logan Paul in the boxing match, that is why he unfollowed him on social media. And like, why are you even mad at me for? Like, it makes no sense. Like, I could have easily just went to this fight and just went home and then I would have saw him in maybe like a year or two and be like, yo, what's up KSI? And then that's it. Like, we didn't, like, why do you have to beef with me online? He then shows a clip I've never seen before, his reaction to receiving the ticket from Logan Paul. I got a gift for you, bro. Oh, yo, man. so I feel kind of weird because last year, you know what I mean, I was friends with KSI and stuff, but he didn't give me no free ticket to That's the right. fight, you know? Hey, those tickets are expensive, bro, you know? Real expensive. You That's got good seats, yeah. bro. Who you got, bro? They're both hungry, and I don't want to make, like, the wrong guess. It's probably going to be a draw again. Like, y'all got so good. <laughs> But in the clip we can see and hear stuff from, he does seem to be fairly neutral and not dissing KSI and saying KSI is going to lose. Now, another major point in this beef, that Ricegum apparently dissed KSI in his new track. Well, Ricegum again, surprisingly, seems to very much prove KSI wrong and with receipts too. How could I diss you in April if we wrote the song in December? Here's another proof. So at the time, the song was called 194 and this was 20 21st of December. I was sending this to my management. Where is it at? He said he popped but where is his black? Someone should tell him he trash. But you know that I'm smoking on gas. But this was in December. So KSI took a diss to heart that wasn't even about him. Oh dear. And it's funny because KSI himself says that the song came out a week after KSI dropped Poppin. Shouldn't KSI know more than anyone that songs take way longer than a week to make? And to be fair, I know, I know, Rice Gum's music is hot garbage. We all know this, but even that I don't think takes less than a week to make. I ended up doing it just for literally nothing. I come there just to get tricked. So I went out of my way for you two times just for what? Rice then goes on to list all the favors and the times he's helped KSI out and says that he feels KSI threw him under the bus and started this beef kind of for no reason and then takes a stupid and obvious shot at KSI about his family and apparently he's not loyal to his family, which 
Uh, it's obvious. I don't even know what I expect. You know, Kansas has never been loyal. Why would I expect him to be loyal to me when he literally isn't even loyal to his family? You guys know family is number one. You should always love your family, but KSI literally, I'm not sure if him and his family are on talking terms now, but there was a period of time when him and his brother and his mom and his dad were beefing. They were all beat. Like, how do you even beef against your own family? I don't know. He just has loyalty issues. But overall, it wasn't a bad video at all, especially the main points he covered, the important ones with receipts and with proof. I left out the boring parts that I felt were irrelevant and just rambling. However, let us see and now start scoring point how KSI responds and counters this because it's going to be interesting. So KSI made a video clapping back at Rice Gum. Firstly, he addresses Rice Gum's point and pretty much one of the biggest points in this whole argument regarding Rice Gum not getting paid for his feature on Earthquake. Well, that explains it. Island, my old label just fucked it. <laughs> I said 50-50. Why are they doing a swap deal. KSI attempts to play this off as, oh, it was my old music label. They are the ones that fucked it. They made the swap deal. Why are they making a swap deal like that? But this defense falls flat very very quickly. You screenshotted them emails that Ricegum shows with the swap deals in them and messaged Ricegum to reply to them. So you definitely knew what your label was doing and the deal that was being put in place. I won't lie, trying to shift the blame on your label, it's a bit of a bitch move. Especially when in your previous video you were so certain that Ricegum got paid and that he was the one who was lying. You got paid for the track. I think you're still getting paid for the track. You never said, nah, it's it's cool. I paid you. You never said in the future. Just if Rice never makes this response video, no one knows. Everyone assumes you're telling the truth. However, it's clear as day that you weren't. All right, well, the best way to settle this is to give you your money. So I will give you 50K, $50,000. Simple. Yeah, I'll just give you the money and then that'll be it. Then that'll be done. That whole section done. All right, let me know if you want it and uh, I'll send you, the, send you the money, my G. He then goes on to say he'll send Rice on 50K. But the problem with this is why? One, it's years too late. And two, you lied about rice gum to your audience, splashing big figures in front of everyone saying, I'll pay you 50K now, obviously to try and get yourself out of the fact that you have been caught out lying because it's such a large sum, it makes you look good. But this isn't the point rice gum makes and he clearly doesn't want KSI's money. It's more about the integrity and the principle of it, especially because you claimed rice gum was lying. You said you did something, you didn't, you got caught out. But I think the worst part is that you didn't even take accountability for it. So clearly, after that, I'm going to have to give the first point on the board to Rice Gum. And I think everyone can agree with that. No one could dispute that. So it's 1 0 to Rice Gum so far. I'm only bringing up the ticket to explain myself. I'm saying it's stemming from the Logan Paul fight. You're essentially mad at me because I sat on Logan's side instead of your side. So you feel like I backstabbed you, you feel like I betrayed you. So another key point, and one of the main reasons Ricegum started dissing KSI in Mum's basement was because KSI himself didn't send Ricegum a ticket to the event. KSI responds by saying this. What? No, I don't, I don't care that you were on Logan's side. You just literally said, bro, play the clip again. I think Logan is gonna win. Okay. Why the fuck would I give you a ticket when you're saying this? Am I dumb? <laughs> now, again, there is another huge problem in KSI's counter argument. The clip you are using to claim is the reason you didn't send Ricegum a ticket because you saw him saying Logan Paul was gonna win is from the actual fight venue the night of the fight. Ricegum was saying this when tickets had already been issued and he was ready at the fight. Because the clip you're using KSI is from Alex Wasabi's vlog of the day of the fight. They're in the bar at the venue before the fight is taking place. So this point is invalid unless there is another clip of Rice saying he thinks Logan's gonna win before the fight. Based on the clip of Rice receiving Logan's invite. Rice, come on, I got a, I got a gift for you, bro. Oh, Yo, so I feel kind of weird because last year, you know what I mean, I was friends with KSI and stuff, but he didn't give me no free tickets to the right. fight, you know what I mean? Hey, those tickets are expensive, bro. And it's kind of irrelevant because KSI wouldn't have known about it because he only uses this clip throughout the entirety of this video. If there were so many clips and so many times Ricegum was saying and backing Logan, KSI would easily remember them and be able to reference them in this video. So again, I'm going to have to absolutely deny KSI's defense here. So that would mean another point for Ricegum. So it's 2-0 so far. Let's see if KSI can make a comeback. KSI then says this. Bro, I, you're acting like I'm training 24-7. <laughs> like, 
that you can still have messaged me and said, oh, yo, how you doing, man? Um, no, I'm pretty sure, KSI, that was literally the point you were trying to make in your last video. To be honest, Rice Gum, you're fine. I should have found the time to get you a ticket for this fight. You know, it's not like I wasn't training. But like you're clearly trying to make out that you're so busy and you're training so hard. How could you even have the possibility of thinking about sending rice gum an invite? That was the response. But he sent me a ticket out the kind of his heart and because you literally said, oh my, oh my god, play the clip again. <laughs> And again, another poor point from KSI referencing the clip of what Ricegum said, but it was actually the night of the fight. When Logan Paul had in fact already sent Ricegum an invite because he's at the actual fight. That isn't the reason that Logan sent Rice an invite. The only way this point could possibly be valid is if Logan Paul can see into the future. Again, I didn't expect this to happen. I'm going to have to give KSI an L on that point, making it 3-0 to rice gum. I never thought there would be a day where I'm defending rice gum's points, but these are just facts. These are just the facts of what's happening. There's still time for KSI to make it up though. Where is it at? He say he popping, but where is his plans? Someone should tell him he trash. I mean, who else are you talking to? I've made a song called Poppin. This song came out a week after Pop. Oh. No, seems that I spoke too soon. KSI himself concedes this point that the diss on Rice Gum's track wasn't about him. Yo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did diss me. Oh, man. This is running out of control. It is incredibly in Rice Gum's favor. So that means now we're going to have to give Rice Gum another point, making it 4 0 to Rice Gum. KSI's ego then gets unleashed because Rice Gum says he has a platinum plaque and KSI doesn't. It seems to really annoy or hurt KSI because he goes off on rice you released the adult it was trash all right it bro let me look at the spotify i i swear to god if we don't even have a million spotify listens then that is poor man it don't even have 500 000, man that is yo all right well look <laughs> you're one hit wonder i it's done out for you. <laughs> and I completely agree with KSI, by the way. His music is so much better than Rice Gums. It's not even in the same league at all. But this part, to me, was just cringe. I, I love it when people prove me wrong. Well, KSI must really be loving this video so far. <laughs> I'm such a dick. Hey, yo, show me that you can release an album and get 100 million streams on the album, okay? Try and do that. Oh, he's still going. Wasn't finished sucking his own dick yet. So after rinsing with mouthwash, KSI then makes this point. My my songs are better than his so it's like oh that's how i'm coming so, oh no so i can't even like i don't even want to go that way dude i haven't heard anyone say like yo turn on that new kiss i mean no one has said turn on that new rice either but you know what i'm saying like no one is quite there yet when, oh, shit. No, I, and you know what i will give ksi this one because i made this point in my previous video about the whole beef how rice coming on mom's basement saying no no no, i'm not dissing ksi i'm not dissing ksi but then continued to actually diss ksi and his music if you got something to say rice Come say it with your chest. Don't be dissing someone and then pretending you're not because you clearly are. So we'll mark that as a point for KSI, I think. 4 1. KSI is officially on the board. This is me when it comes to music, okay? I'm just slowly progressing and doing better. This is you when it comes to music. <laughs> You're down there, fam. <laughs> You're declining. Now, look, KSI slurping himself for the fifth time in this video aside, he makes a valid point. His music has 100%, I think anyone can see, just been improving. It's just been improving, getting better and better and better. Whereas Rice Gum peaked with Every Night Sis because it was such a huge song. And then ever since then, there's not really been anything apart from maybe the iDubs diss track, which I didn't really like. I agree with KSI for sure. It's definitely a point I agree with. But to me, and it's my video, it's not worthy of a point. There was a period of time when him and his brother and his his mom and his dad were beefing. They were all beef. Like, how do you even beef against your own family? I don't know. He just yeah, this was definitely a weak point from Rice Gum, 100%. Having covered and lived through the KSI family drama, KSI was 100% trying to keep this private, didn't want this beef between him and his family. It also has no relevancy at all and just weakens this video. You know, we want to end the video on a strong note. This wasn't the way to do it. Because it was such a weak comparison as well, I think I'll give KSI a point on that one. Making it 4-2 to Rice Gum. Now, obviously, it's more of a minor point. Point, but still a point. 4-2 to Rice Gum. Hey, yo, look, and he didn't even...
mentioned the whole <laughs> him having a ghostwriter. I told you. <laughs> and again, another good point from KSI. Rice Gum has completely swerved and dipped from the question of him having a ghostwriter. Hasn't acknowledged it because it's true. It's been a thing everyone has known that Rice Gum doesn't write his own songs. And again, that is something I really respect from KSI and seeing his music progress is the fact he writes his own songs. So when his music's getting better, it's not only the music, it's him, his ability to write songs. I can't lie, I'm impressed because it's songs that I would hear on the radio. It's songs I'd imagine hearing on radio. In fact, I've even heard KSI songs in clubs when I've been out in London. For you completely ignoring a key point, Rice Gum, from KSI, I'm going to give KSI another point, making the final score, because this is the last of it, 4-3 to Rice Gum, which I think is fair. If anything, I dislike Rice Gum more than I do KSI, to be honest. I don't dislike KSI at all. I genuinely respect him. But Rice Gum combats the main key points, especially regarding this beef, a lot more. The points KSI got were still points, but a more side points weren't as impactful as Rice Gum's main points. This beef is just fun to talk about. I enjoy making videos like this. It's just stupid, fun beef. Nothing too serious. We need stuff like this from time to time. I personally think it's extremely pointless and dumb, and it's just two massive egos who can't seem to agree on one thing. I think in regards to who's winning this beef at the moment, we're gonna have to say Rice Gum. Rice Gum's up 4-3, but you guys are also involved. Comment below. Just comment KSI or the word Rice Gum. Comment that right now. I'm gonna look in the comments to see what you guys think. I know the majority of you will be KSI fans. He's a bigger audience, but stand back. Just take in the points. If it wasn't KSI, it wasn't Rice Gum. Just based on the point, KSI or Rice Gum. If you enjoy this style of videos, please leave a like. It could be something I do more comparing videos and arguments like this in a kind of game show points way. I enjoy doing it. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this style of video. On top of that, if you like the hoodie I've been wearing in this video, it's actually my own clothing brand, BEBapparel.com. Link is in the description below if you want to buy one. We we printed on champion hoodies, premium champion hoodies, by the way. There's print on the back too. Check out the website. We have t-shirts as well. We have hoodies. We're going to have mugs and phone cases, everything. If you like something and you buy something, please let me know on my social media platforms. I will personally reach out and thank you. I've done it with hundreds of people already. My Instagram is kavos.yt as well. Message me on Instagram. My DMs are always open. I check them regularly. Message me feedback, stories or topics you want me to cover. On top of that, just message me. Sometimes I just reach out and talk to you guys just to see who watches my videos. My Twitter, at CalvosYT, is the best place for content after the video. I always say that. It's like the sequel. You want to follow the Twitter because all the updates will always be on my Twitter. We're nearly at 100k followers on Twitter, so please go ahead and follow that. It means so much to me. And yeah, that is it for this video. It's a fun one, more lighthearted, so I hope you enjoyed. Support it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, fuck off.